The idea of building a bridge to Stradbroke Island has been discussed for many years, and viewpoints from both sides have been put forward. The main reason a bridge would be built is for faster and easier access to Stradbroke Island. This would no doubt increase the amount of visitors and the overall population of the island. It is imagined with easier access to the island, it could become a tourist hotspot at the Gold Coast. All these plans may have good intentions. What type of ecological impact would this have on the island and its various environments and inhabitants? With the bridge in place, the increasing amount of visitors and tourists will no doubt have an impact on the amount of rubbish and sewage produced and left behind by visitors. Littering is more likely to occur. Also, more bins and waste of disposing of rubbish will need to be established in order to maintain the well-being of the island. Fire is needed in the Wallam Heathland area in order for the reproduction of plants such as banksias to occur. If more residential houses were to be built on the island, fires would be most likely banned to prevent damage to property. This would result in less banksia plants being able to release their seeds and grow. Eventually, the overall amount of banksias would decrease. Also, the chance of accidental fires is most likely to increase due to activities such as camping. All of the beaches around Stradbroke Island will be used a lot more if a bridge is built, as more people will be coming over. This would put a lot of stress on the current beach systems, and more buildings such as cafes, bathrooms and undercover areas will have to be built in order to meet the needs of the increased amount of people on the island. Foot erosion of the sand dunes is more likely to occur with more people on the island. These sand dunes are of great importance to the structure of the island and surrounding plants which trap the sand in order to form a buffer zone between the beach and the land. It also helps the island's shoreline in staying together along with spinifex grass. The gradual erosion of these systems can potentially cause a threat to the entire island. Ecotourism is one of the main reasons why a bridge to Stradbroke Island has been considered. Ecotourism will require more infrastructure and residential areas for people to stay and live in. While this may be great for the economy, it is not so great for the environment. Increased tourists will mean more shops, paths and even more roads will have to be built for this purpose, which is taken away from the environment already. Fishing will fast become a leisure activity due to the many open water areas of the island. The increased amount of people fishing could mean a decrease of fish species in the water, which could in turn affect the whole ecosystem of the waters on Stradbroke. Destroying the mangroves to create waterfront properties and tourist hotspots is already being discussed. However, this would damage the system, as the mangroves are essential for the survival of fish species. Mangroves are where juveniles hide when they are younger. If their hiding spots are destroyed, they will have nowhere to hide and will die before they are able to grow up. This has the potential to reduce the amount of fish used for food on Stradbroke Island and deprive bigger predators of their food. Recreational activities will have to become a big part of Stradbroke Island if a bridge is built. As of now, the activities that you can partake in on the island are quite limited. Water sports, and things such as sightseeing tours and other recreational activities will have to be implemented. However, water sports may disturb the sea life and sightseeing tours may disturb wildlife of that area. These activities will instigate more visitors and possible residents and add more pressure to Stradbroke's environment. The main threat to the native wildlife and sea life is the need for building residential estates. Waterfront properties pose a huge threat to the various sea life living on the shores of the island. Their current habitats are prime spots for new investments. The intention is that Stradbroke should become somewhat of a national park, enabling ecotourism while maintaining the ecology of the island. However, the various biotic and abiotic factors that have been discussed have a negative and long-lost impact on the environment. This is why a bridge should not be built to Stradbroke Island.